Whew. What is up, everybody? Brian here, Pit Face Barbecue Whiskey Crew. Um, I'm going to try to smile as best I can, but I am miserable. It is cold here. I'm grumpy. It is my least favorite thing about this time of the year. Say what you want. I will take a balmy 70 degree uh, Christmas anytime over it being cold. It's like, I don't know, it's down in the teens or something right now. And if you get a lot of ambient noise, it's either the wind howling outside over there or it's uh, my unmentionables receding into my abdomen to try to stay warm. It's, it's cold. Well, you can see I have this, uh, the doggy door over here leaks air. So we have this little concoction to try to keep it somewhat warm in here. Whatever. I figured the best way to stay warm was with a uh, hot cup of coffee. And that's what we're going to do for this episode of Will It Christmas. Now, uh, normally we're taking a spirit of some sort, adding the knot. This time it's a little different. Um, I thought I would make a hot cup of coffee. Add in a little bit of uh, Buffalo Trace bourbon cream. And then, of course, some of the knot and and see what we get. Uh, but... Figured while I'm here, might as well do the bourbon cream by itself as well. Give a review on that. Now, if you haven't had the Buffalo Trace bourbon cream, I mean, it's definitely one of the better bourbon creams out there. I'm not saying you can't get something equally as good or better, or maybe even save a couple bucks. But, uh, I mean, grab a bottle of that anytime you get a chance. I mean, if you like the consistency of eggnog in terms of something being kind of you know thick and not milky but like creamy that's what it's going to be you can get away with drinking it any time of the year don't have to wait for the holidays um, if it's not cold enough put it over a little ice and then very popular to add to your coffee as well um, so we got a taste there nice little hint of the bourbon flavor so you're pulling in some extra you know vanilla maybe a little oak something along those lines while uh, sticking like a true you know, almost like a coffee creamer. It's a, a liqueur. Lots of cocktails you can make with it. Delicious, sweet liqueur, bold taste of Buffalo Trace bourbon. Whatever. You can get a lot of people to start figuring out what you like about whiskey by starting with this stuff. Um, maybe start mixing it with a little bit of whiskey in it. Only thing is you don't want to get them, give them the wrong impression that whiskey is always super sweet like that. But... Whatever, let's try with a little bit of the knot. So, got a decent pour in there, and then we'll do a boop of the knot. Uh, you know, predictions. I don't, I don't think it's going to work. I think we might have the base of a really good Christmas cocktail, but I don't know if we can Christmas the uh, bourbon cream by itself just right away. You can see I'm sitting down. I, I sh probably should stand up, get some more blood flowing, but... Um, this allows me to have a heated blanket. No, not bad. Um, the knot just really has a tough time breaking through the, uh, the cream. Let's add an extra little boot to it. Cause I think there's a possibility here, but. Uh, bourbon creams, I think it's 35% alcohol. So this is no 15%. Sorry. That was the, I just bought a different one. That was 35, it's 15%. The knot at least adds a little proof to it. Um, it's, it's good. The only real knot enhancement I'm getting is right on the finish. It's almost like a dusting of cinnamon on it. Um, but I can't say that. It's like super holiday all of a sudden just because we mix the two together. I would stick to uh, using, I would use the knot as your base in a some holiday whiskey inspired cocktail. Use uh, the Buffalo Trace bourbon cream as your, you know, if, if your cocktail calls for a cream of some sort. And you can probably get there, but. No, it's still the, the oak. The vanilla, the uh, rich cream, this is all the bourbon cream flavors. I can tell it's got more alcohol in it now, which is always a good thing. You know, what I mean, you could, someone took a sip of that, they wouldn't think that you're getting 
hammered. Uh, and then two, three drinks later, you would definitely be well on your way if you poured a tall one of those. So I don't know, maybe that's maybe that's its niche. Um, let's move on to the coffee. This is a coffee that is uh, where the bean. I have two kinds of beans in there. They were um, rested in one was in a bourbon barrel and one was in a rye whiskey barrel. Did a coarse grind. They've been blended together. It's roughly 50-50 mix. Um, this was made with a French press. I'm not that fancy at coffee. That's like the limit of my coffee knowledge. But I can make a pretty good French press coffee. This is actually really good stuff. Um, you can actually you can pull out some of the rye spices uh, just on when you smell the coffee beans. And you can even get a little bit when you're tasting the coffee. Which is kind of interesting. Gets away from just the strict coffee. Um, can almost have like a dark tobacco leaf, you know, flavor. And then add something a little bit more complex. A little earthy. Uh, let's make this how I would... Now, I normally drink it black. But if I want a little flavor, a little fun in my life, I would add some of this uh, Buffalo Trace bourbon cream. Just a little bit. I don't know. We got... So, my coffee's almost turned the color of... The cup, if you will. So if you just want like a reference. I wonder if I can... Does this work? Yeah, there we go. A little lighter maybe. But kind of close. Let me start with this. Uh, the coffee's still owning the day, which is good. It's not overly sweet or anything. But it has been mellowed some. This will make your coffee a little bit more viscous if that's your thing. Uh, a little, you know, we've now moved more into like the sweet bourbon versus the real classic oaky bourbon that you kind of get off the beans by themselves. Now we'll add in a boop of the knot because, I mean, you can't have a proper uh, hair of the dog coffee in the morning unless you add a little extra whiskey to it anyway, right? There's some of the knot. Uh, what can I swirl it with? I didn't bring... I don't know. Didn't bring anything else. Do you like my, my Buffalo Trace? This actually came from the distillery. Mmm... Uh, we have made a massive miscalculation here. This, the only thing going for it right now is that it's hot and I'm cold. But, oh, no, we've, uh, there, there's some mix of flavors going on and it's, well, it's not even a mix. It's, it's like, uh, you know, that Christmas trail mix that you get kind of works because everything complements, but every handful has a different taste. It's not like all of the flavors like blend together. You get a piece of Chex, then you get a peanut, and then you get a pretzel stick or whatever, and you don't mind bouncing back and forth. We're bouncing back and forth here, but to a bunch of flavors that don't really work anymore. I've lost the coffee richness. The uh, cream part just tastes spoiled. The knot in it, oh, it's like chewing on the bones of uh, the Griswold's family turkey. You know, after it like poofs and expo explodes into nothing, you got to believe that those bones were just nasty, overdone marrow. That's what, that's everything in there. Uh, that's the least inspiring thing that we have tried in this series. My hat stand good. You know, I was I had this hat planned for an episode all by itself, but now I have to wear it with my fuzzy hat because it's that cold here. Could have gone even more nuts. Um, this fine, but nothing particularly special. You could do just you could have a more enjoyable experience with just adding bourbon to it. This right here is an ap absolute dumpster fire. Uh, let's give some scores. 
Uh, we will give the Buffalo Trace by itself um, one stocking stuffer, uh, two plates of mashed potatoes, which can be a Christmas thing, but not necessarily a Christmas thing, but they're fine anyway. That's kind of what this is. I guess you get away with it being Christmassy, but it's also a you know just fine in March or something like that. Um, and we will say this will not Christmas. We will go over here. That is that is one full shitter in the RV from Christmas vacation. That's one full shitter. And uh, that is three Grinches. And it's two dead Christmas trees. That stuff, well, I have to say it. The official word is it will not Christmas. So that'll appear here in the bottom somewhere. It will not Christmas. But beyond that, it is just effing terrible. Uh, don't do not do that with good coffee. Whatever. I'm going to go try to warm up my toes, my nose, my balls, my everything that's cold right now. It's a lot of stuff. Hope you all enjoyed it. I wonder I grab this again for. I'm going to go pour a decent coffee. See y'all on the next one. Stay warm. Keep getting in the holiday spirit. Cheers, everybody.